It looks so funny because he has like no legs there. <laughs> Today we are going to see which method of wrapping a corgi for Christmas is the best method. I've seen a few videos on how to wrap a cat and I've seen a new method from Crusoe the Dachshund. Mm. Ah, am I gonna wrap you today? Do you have a wrapping paper? Oh. How are we gonna wrap your chicken legs, huh? <laughs> Christmas is Good just boy, around yes. the corner. We're gonna wrap you into a present, Gatsby. Coming up just I'm around the bend. Oh, Holiday couldn't be here sooner. Holiday for family and friends. Oh, so handsome. Christmas is just around the corner. Coming up just around Good the bay. Look at that wrapping job. Oh my gosh, he's sitting down. <laughs> Find it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You guys? That method was good and all, but it did require Gatsby to be standing the whole time, which I don't think he really liked. So we are gonna try the lazy cat method. There you go. The good boy. The back. Coming the butt up, area. Right down the line. <laughs> oh, man. The butt area. Chestnuts roasting on the burner. That's like the cutest butt ever. <laughs> Everybody knows it's Christmas time. And we've got Frosty, Rudolph, Snowball, Snowflakes, Cookie Dough, and that old Scrooge. Firewood, Fireplace, Sugar Pump, Jingle Bell, oh. Send Little Helpers too. Christmas is just around. <laughs> we got it! We wrapped Coming the corgi! Up, right what a good down job the line. we did! Dear present! What do I have under my Christmas tree? <gasps> it's a corgi! You. Okay, so in the comments below, let me know which way of rapping is your favorite. Thank you so much, Gatsby, for being such a good sport. And it's time for us to start the vlog. It's time for a new ukulele song, and by popular demand, here's the song. Today we are going to be making some lunch! Shrimp, mac, and cheese. I've actually never had shrimp and mac and cheese together. I've been meaning to use my Instant Pot pressure cooker over here. I would make mac and cheese in the Instant Pot because I hear it's really good. First we'll add our macaroni. This is 8 ounces but um, I'm just going to do half of the recipe because I don't need that much mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. Two cups of low sodium chicken broth. One tablespoon of butter. It says to use half a teaspoon of hot sauce. Um, the hot sauce is not really going to make it spicy because we're just using a really, really small amount. It is going to flavor it. Okay. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Salt. Pepper. Five minutes. In the meantime, we're going to make our shrimp. Three cloves of garlic. We just have to peel the shrimp. Peel. Butter. Olive oil. I forgot we also have some parsley. Let's do that. Ooh, okay. Oh, crushed red pepper. Okay, so here are the cheeses that we're using. Shredded Parmesan, mozzarella, and some medium cheddar. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. One third cup of whole milk. There's like one cup of cheddar cheese. It's getting creamy. 
half a cup of mozzarella. This is like half a cup. And a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Hey, look at that. So cheesy. I'll put a little bit of pressure in this Garlic, shrimp, mac and cheese. Ooh, beautiful. Gotta make sure I get my enzyme pills. Let's see how instant pot mac and cheese tastes. Let's just try the mac and cheese by itself. Yes. Wow, it cooks the macaroni super nicely. That was like, it came out al dente. It was really good. Way better than the box stuff. We're gonna try it with the shrimp now. Wow, that is good. The macaroni and cheese is buttery and garlicky and it is very creamy. And so it really matches it. This is really delicious. It has like a sophisticated taste. If you want the recipe, I'll put a link to it in the description below, but I'm gonna finish eating this. I'll make sure I take a lactose enzyme pill. So check it out, I got some new corals today. I got them from this guy on Facebook Marketplace. Octospawn coral, I got two of them. They're gonna go in my frog spawn octospawn tree over here. I also got a pink bubble coral which will probably go somewhere in the back. So I just used the super glue gel from the dollar store. I got some glue on there. Gonna stick it in. You can only place coral of the same type next to each other because if there are different types, then they will sting each other and try to kill each other. So there it is, we got everything glued in. I moved the elegance coral over here instead. And we have the bubble coral all the way in the back there. Hopefully that's enough space. <laughs> so now all we gotta do is wait. Okay, it's been a few hours. Let's take a look at the coral and see what opened up. I'm really enjoying the placement of this elegance coral. It seems to be doing pretty well here. It looks so beautiful. And now that it's really close up, elegance coral is like one of my favorite coral of all time. They're just so elegant. And in the back, the bubble coral. Despite how it looks, it actually does have long sweeper tentacles that come out at night. So you need to keep this coral away from the other coral. Right over here, that is our new octospawn coral. It's actually yellow, you can't, it's a little bit hard to see because of the lighting. The other one that's further in the back has not opened up yet, it's still like closed. And that's what the aquarium looks like today, super beautiful. Got some shipments of stuff from people. Lazy Mondays, it says, ramen on it. We know how much you love ramen and your fish tanks, so we sent you this t-shirt as a gift and would love it if you could give us a call out in one of your videos. Uh, Lindsay from Canada. Roll over gourmet crunchy beef biscuits. Wine gums, oh my gosh, I love wine gums. They're like gummy bears, but not as sweet. Got a package from Terry from Texas. Please give this to Sean, okay. This looks like it's for you, Gatsby. There's a doggy on it. Starbucks Frappuccino. And he got some bow ties. Terry made a cookbook over here. And she's sharing all her recipes. Mm. Thank you so much to Jonathan, Lindsay, and Terry for sending us stuff. And we also want to thank these awesome fans right over here. Thank you so much for supporting Gatsby and me. Check them out with all their new Corgi on Fleek merch. Okay, we're headed off to the gym. Gonna hit some upper body today. Maybe we'll do some shoulders. We are done with the gym. Let's get on with the day. Look at this tree, it's so beautiful. All the twinkly lights. Would you like to go outside and see some more Christmas lights? Should we go? Yeah. yeah. I'm walking around, feeling free. Thinking about what's happened to me from July. Up till now, don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it. So it's true I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to add to fall in love I am going to go and grab some sushi for dinner My friend Matt I know, I'm like, what? <laughs> that means it's 
spicy. <laughs> they always have a roll called the Lion King at like all these sushi places. This is what the Lion King looks like, you guys. I don't think this Lion King looks <laughs> Soft shell crab. Look at this futomaki. Dragon roll. <laughs> Thank you. We ate all that food. That was a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really full. The dark side is strong with this one. Okay, that's gonna do it for us for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for letting me wrap you, Gatsby. You're my Christmas gift. Anyway, we will see you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas! It's as big as you.